Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I went and got some pine and got a little sweaty, so we're gonna start a fire. So I figured it'd be a good time to show you how to make a fire in a wet environment. So I went down and these trees are actually um, still standing. So they're still pretty solid pine trees. But with them standing like that, they're not going to have the water laying on top of them. It's starting to get up into the, must be close to 25, 30 degrees out here. And uh, stuff's starting to melt. So what I did is I found my piece of bark, old dead bark. And now I'm going to quarter this stuff up here. And there's easy ways to do this and there's hard ways to do this. You can do it with a buck saw. It goes pretty quick. You can also do it with an axe. If you find yourself a nice sturdy spot, and then you take and you cut the corners all the way around, usually on this size, it's about three to four hits and it's broke, it's already done. So let's go through this. Make sure you're out of the way of your swing axe and remember where you're at because you can actually, if you come in here like this and you slip, your axe is out here. But if you come in this way, you're coming right into your leg. So pay attention to where your axe is at. Alright, so we took care of that, Mary. So. Now my next thing is, I have a bunch of stuff out here. Hi. Because it should just... Breaks up. Very easy. I don't have to worry too much in the location that I'm at. We're finding dry tinder. We have a cedar swamp. Um, a lot of pine. A lot of little ones like this that are dead. So. It's pretty easy for me to find a, a fire source, but some people ain't that lucky. So, here's a trick if you can find a tree that's standing that's dead, little limbs, you know, three inch size, that'll be perfect. see me do it before easy way of doing things we have yellow birch bark so it's a wonderful thing it doesn't hurt the tree and we can light fires pretty easy so my next thing that I'm gonna do is if you don't have yellow birch bark going to show you another way. To 
get tender. Mine's really knotty, but there's a nice piece right there. What we're going to do is we're going to feather it. So that'll allow me to get a spark either way. Make sure you guys can see this. In our area in a wet environment is that you want to be able to get stuff that's standing because it's dry. You can see just from laying on the ground a little bit, the water's getting in there. But I also got the old faithful, I've got yellow birch. And yellow birch is very flammable. It just, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing to have. So let's try two different routes here. We're going to take this, and I'm actually going to... See if I can feather this without taking it all out. It's nice if you have a nice dry spot to do this too. Because when you lose the uh, little feathers, you can pick them back up and throw them on your fire. And if you can find a spot that's like this side will work really nice. Get long. Long spirals out of this side. So just keep going like that and make yourself some nice feathers. And of course when it's dry like that, you got all the tops, which are nice also because they break up really easy. That's how you can tell if they're dry. They're super brittle. A little damp on the outside. But that's what we got the birch bark for. So we're gonna get the front, uh, trusty fire steel here. Never lets me down. So let's break it up. Like so. Now I did find that piece of bark laying on a dead tree. That also makes it nice and you want to make sure that you have, it's called an upside down fire. Put your logs like I had a fire here before so I put the charred logs down below. Put my bark on top of it so it will dry out. I'm guessing today it's going to be a lot of smoke and steam because everything is really wet. but. We'll give her a shot. And there she goes. So now you want to put your little stuff on. big fire because I want to warm stuff up around here get the snow melted away and of course get stuff dried out and pop 
pine has a, a resin in it, so once it gets going, it's going to naturally, it's going to burn very well. There she goes. So, with a little bit of preparing, you can guys can get a fire going. What environments? Know your know your woods. Know the wood that's in it. If it's a cedar, uh, where to find it under the cedars? I mean, you can just rub the bark off the cedar and get nice tender. Um, it helps to really know the environment you're in. Uh, if you don't know anything about your trees that you, that you're in, uh, you can find that stuff on YouTube now, or uh, yeah, YouTube and Google and all over the place. Um, learn about the trees. Learn which ones have the resin in it. What you can use in your area for a fire starting. Also, make give yourself a place to put your knees to keep dry. It helps out wonderfully. So. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm up some tea out here. And this I'm just throwing all this on right now because this is going to give me a good base to put on. I'll be able to put that snowy stuff on and allow it to dry out pretty, pretty quick. It's almost lunchtime too. So now we're going to go and make some tea. We'll let that uh, we'll let that sit there. So now I'm gonna go and get some pine. And luckily today I went and picked a bunch of it. I'm starting to fill in the uh, parts of my um, shelter here. So I went and got some pine. And there's some spruce back here. That'll do wonderful. Sorry about the shakiness of the camera. I'm trying to get this lined up so you guys can see what I'm going to do here. 